or Lando Yang Pot. That's frozen. You want to come on with me and back on to another movie set? Roll camera. You're watching Becca and Joel. Today we take you with us on a few of our artistic endeavors. This is why we chose van life. We're going to teach a workshop. Lord, I've never taught anything in my life. You're going to do great. I believe in you. It's a scary thing is because I'm self-taught. I actually am not quite sure I know how to do anything. I just do what looks good. So here's the thing. I have to teach a painting class. So let's get to it. Made notes. So like any good teacher, hopefully it should be easy if I just stick to my notes. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I've literally, I'm a prof I'm a literally a professional painter. And I don't know why I'm so terrified to teach literally kids. Like what, what is gonna go wrong? They'd be like, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. I should look into the differences between hue, saturation, and value. Joel and I are always like, if we want to be artists, it's about the hustle. It's about going out there, doing, doing, doing. It's about taking every opportunity. Every once in a while, I say yes to an opportunity and then I realize I have to follow through. That's when I start to panic. It's not the frozen. Despite feeling entirely inadequate, the reality is that I've been painting for nine years and really should have more confidence in my abilities. That is frozen. I hate winter so much. There's nothing redeeming about it because I don't even ski. Oh, I hate winter. The last sprint towards spring always feels like the longest part of winter. Luckily, spring really is just around the corner. While nervous to teach, I was also excited at the same time. And it turns out that the space the van affords is perfect for the teaching setup. Hey baby, nice setup. Look at that. Getting ready to do my very first professional ever masterclass. Very cool. How are you? All your supplies? They froze, so... Oh no! Are they wrecked? I actually have no idea. I don't really Shoot, know. that sucks. Here's the Martin Alberta Jubilee Auditorium. And we want to start off with acknowledging the traditional land on which we reside in Alberta. When people are starting out and wanting to get into painting, the very first thing they'll do is they'll go off to an art store and they'll buy one of those big huge painting sets and it's got like four, seven, eight different colors and you go where do I even begin? So let's make that very simple. First and foremost you only need the three primary colors that's red, blue, and yellow. So let's get into it. I've got my white canvas right here. We're just gonna brush some of that white into the brush. And then what I'm gonna do is get paint on there. So we're gonna put that right in the center of the canvas. So we're gonna dip that into the yellow here. And then we're going to put the yellow where you see it on the reference. So I'm gonna go a nice long brush all the way across. And then we'll kind of just keep brushing it a little bit upwards. And as you can see, it ombres that yellow and the yellow kind of fades out. All right, so I've got a bit of that blue mixed in with the white. And we're gonna go up the top here now. It's a little bit dry up there. That's all right. I kind of like that, it's got a cool texture to it. And as we move down, we're gonna move back into that white. And as you can see, we've got the blue down to the yellow ombre effect that's kind of in the photo there. After not having painted for about two months, I'm kind of happy that the zoom camera is maybe not, like, super high defined. That's what I did. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you, everyone who did that class, they did fantastic. It was fabulous. Wow, that was a lot of fun. And also, I can't believe I did that. It's done. Woo! And now I have to clean up because it's a mess. Man, I just want to, like, try to fix it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, how'd it go? <laughs> oh, look at that painting. It's the worst painting you've ever done. It's not the worst. <laughs> I've seen many a worse. You know it doesn't matter because they all had fun. That's all that matters. And 
Oh, that's a terrible thing. Through the zoom lens, I couldn't see if it was a bad painting, so there you go. Um, it went so good, babe. They showed me their paintings um, after, and I got to see everybody else's interpretation and work, and I was like, and the Masani said that she couldn't believe that I'd never taught before. I promised Joel this morning that I would go work out with him. But the very first thing you should always know about me is that working out is not my jam. It is, however, very much Joel's jam. working out is just arriving here then what I can tell you is I made it okay I'm incredibly inexperienced at this so much so that I actually forgot to bring like headphones for something to listen to for when I'm working out so we're doing this a silent workout well this is it. I haven't seen a mirror in days. Oh my gosh, that's what I look like. Oh yeah, hey. This is way harder than it looks, by the way. Oh, you can go backwards. Well, that's a different workout. Live your life just like you're young again. No, don't you cry. Just get back up again. Exhaustified. Oh, Rebecca's in there doing a Q&A with a bunch of little uh, grade four kids about her artwork. Here, Rebecca, just let us know and we'll speak it again for you. About Sounds good. All right. Who's got questions for Rebecca? <laughs> That's a hard question. I'm probably not okay. I think that is the painting that right now, whenever I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, I really love that painting. She's so cute. Talking with all those little kids about art. Oh. This fills my heart with so much joy. Like after talking to the school group, I realized I actually do know my stuff. Like I actually do know art. Like I'm not like a newbie at this. Like I have answers to questions that were that's relatively awesome. hard ones. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Do you want to come on with me back onto another movie set? Follow me. Yeah. Your beautiful, handsome face. Uh, let's do it again. I'll maybe I'll cycle to the right. Yeah. From there, Mike. So, Lorenzo McTavish. And even just say like, we, well, you can do it. Good money is like you tell him yeah. that it's good money. Like you know it's good money. Good money. Yeah. Right. We're gonna shift gears to scene twelve, which okay. is just you in the bed settling in. Yeah. So if you can take your toque off and your uh, outer shirt. This project is part of the Prairie College video production class, taught and led by Jordan Cutville and directed by Aaron Krogman. The lead star actor is none other than Mike Thiessen, a stellar human whose humor is impeccable. To all the Prairie students who worked on this project, let me just say, you all killed it. I can also see him. Too far. Joel, sit back in your chair. Little less Natasha. Uh, pan left the hair, just the hair. Mary, step out yeah, of the frame. Yeah, yeah. And zoom out just one little fraction. This is the All right. That's the right Okay. Off it down. Okay. Roll camera. Rolling. Yeah. Okay. Slate. There's the boom. There's the boom. There's the boom. There it is. 
Action. Okay, so Lorenzo McTavish. Yep. What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? For one scene in every movie, you'll have up to four different shots of the same scene taken from different angles. So remembering what you did in the last shot is crucial for continuity. How are you feeling about today, Mike? It's out. been good. That's what we did last I'm time. A little more tired. I think it's just because it's yeah. last day kind of energy. Last day. The show's I called mean, I To know. Sleep for yeah. Chance to Dream. Yeah, I'm ready to sleep. I think that yeah, name. We're starting to do a bit of method acting here. Yeah, that's all it is. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm full of life. Full of life. I just I'm acting. I think it was full of life. Okay. Just getting in character. Right? Yeah, that's right. exactly yeah. right. Like me, a good day of acting. You know, it's interesting. I feel actually the most energy I have is just after I wake up. By now, it's when I start to sort of fade a bit. But then it's like here we go. And shooting color card. Yeah, trying to find the juice to you keep it go, going because it's move it's fun. Life. It's fun. I want to give it my all. For the actor, film is a slow but rewarding process. Just trying to keep all your lines in your head along with all your actions can be an exhausting experience. Yet it's also incredibly exciting to be in a room full of creatives working on the same goal. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks team. It's been a blast. Thank you. Coming up. Yeah. Um, Mary, you'll collect the microphones from both of them. As the weather begins to turn, so creative energy flows, and I was ready to paint and remind myself that I am a good artist. All right, just headed to my studio right now. Just some painting. The number one, sorry, just getting over a cold. So the number one thing that I always say when you are gonna paint something, or if you're gonna do any art at all, is set it up like it is a fun, playful space. Alexa, play music. Here's a station you might like, James Taylor on Amazon Music. <laughs> and the more that you do that, the like, more you're gonna crave to go back and do the process. So we're gonna fall in love with the process, not the product. We don't wanna fall in love with the product. We can love the product, but we don't wanna fall in love with it being the product is the end goal and that's all that matters because way too many paintings fail, frankly. The reason you wanna paint isn't because you're an amazing artist and you're gonna make a masterpiece. The reason you wanna paint is because you just love doing it. So the number one thing I always do make myself a cup of tea. Sometimes when life gets super busy, it's really important for me to just sit back, relax, and paint. It's like therapy, I guess. Come tend the garden with me. We have so many seeds to sow. When the harvest comes in, it will be time to share what we have grown. Started. Everything was groovy, but I'm noticing lately we've been half-hearted. West Side Story don't feel pretty anymore. Well, we spent the bulk of our days feeling free, like we were properly stoned. Everything but the likes of me I can't help but recall We were having the time of our lives When we started Everything was groovy But I'm noticing lately We've been half-hearted West Side Story Don't be pretty West Side Story Don't be something guys I just think I am the luckiest
person alive because literally my husband cooks amazing food for me all the time I mean look at him hard at work there yes he makes a little bit of a mess when he does so but that's fine because the food and the quality of the food that comes out of this man's brain and into my belly chef's kiss delicious Oh! <laughs> Why are you putting it on the bread? Spill <laughs> it! Oh. This is laundry day soon. Shoot. I'm more concerned about having to eat this food because um, we haven't washed these in a, a little bit. Looks like we pooped the bed. Actually, this is why I got white because if we did ever need to bleach it, it's not going to be so, so bad. That's all we have for today. If you're interested in learning more about the film world, make sure to check out last week's video. I'm heading out on a video shoot today. I'm just so excited. I think I have the best job in the world. I'm getting covered and wiped off like in five minutes. <laughs> this driving me crazy. How can it be worse than this? I guess that's part of the work. Lots of nose. <laughs>